Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to verify the Green's theorem in the XY plane. And the boundary of the region is given by x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 1. We are going to take a small diagram. We have the horizontal x-axis and vertical y-axis. Let's write this as x and this as y. And we have an equation x plus y is equal to 1. So when we have the equation, we have to take two points x and y in such a way taking x as 0. When I put 0 here, the value of y is 1. And when y is 0, the value of x is 1. So we have two points. So this is the origin and this is 0, 0. And 0, 1 will be somewhere here. And 1 comma 0 will be somewhere here. So let's take this as A which is 1 comma 0 and this is a point B which is 0 comma 1. And we are going to join these two points and we get the line. And we can also extend on the both the sides and apart from these two we also have the other equation x equal to 0. x equal to 0 means it is y axis. So the equation of the y axis is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 is the equation of the x axis. So this is y is equal to 0. So this is our region where it is bounded by x equal to 0. This is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 and the another line x plus y is equal to 1. Now let's write the Green's theorem. By Green's theorem, we have integral over the region, close the region C, u dx plus v dy equal to double integral over the region R, dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y into dx into dy. Now from the question by comparing this u dx plus v dy we can get the values of that is the terms of u and v. So these two are u and v. Let us write u equal to 3x minus 8y square and v is the other term which is 4y minus 6xy and for evaluating this Green's theorem right hand side we need dou v by dou x and dou u by dou y. So let us find dou u by dou y here where x is constant so this is 0 and this will become minus 16y and from here it is dou v by dou x where y is constant, so the first term is fully constant, but here the constant term with x, so we write the constant and the derivative of the x is, sorry, y is 1. Sorry, the x is 1, so the remaining constant is minus 6y. Now, coming to the left hand side of the Green's theorem, we have integral over the region C, and this region is having three boundaries one is OA. This is the origin, let us take, take it as O. So, OA, AB and BO. So, this region, closed region is split into three parts. Its boundaries are, one is OA, other is AB and other is BO. Let us take the first part, integral over the region OA. And in this region, the limit is, the limit of X starts from 0 and end at 1. So the limit is from 0 to 1 for this region and here the equation is y equal to 0. Since y is 0 and its derivative dy is 0 and we are going to place y as 0 in this part. When y is 0 we left with only 3x and dx. So it is 3x dx and since dy is 0, the second part will be fully 0. So we have only 3x dx remaining 
and we are going to integrate this 3 into x square by 2 and the limit is from 0 to 1. So by substituting a limit, we substitute the upper limit then minus lower limit and finally this is 3 into 1 by 2 which is 3 by 2. Let's take the next boundary AB. So we can see from the diagram the AB is a line here and its equation is x plus y equal to 1. When we see the horizontal extent that is from A to B horizontal extends the limit starts from 0 and ends at 1. When we see as a AB the horizontal extent the maximum extent is here so that is it starts from 1 and end at 0. So we take the limit integral AB as integral 1 to 0 and we also have the equation x plus y is equal to 1. So from this y is 1 minus x and from this dy is minus dx. So wherever we have y and dy we have to substitute here. So it is 3x minus 8y square dx. So 3x plus sorry minus 8y square into dx and another term is 4y minus 6xy dy. So 4y minus 6xy into dy. So we are going to substitute all this. So it is integral 1 to 0 3x minus 8 into 1 minus x whole square full bracket into dx. In place of this y we substituted 1 minus x. In the same way coming to the next term we have 4y. So 4 into 1 minus x minus 6xy. So 6x into 1 minus x into instead of dy we have to put minus dx. Now we have to simplify this further. So this is integral 1 to 0. 3x minus 8 into this is a minus b whole square. So 1 minus 2x plus x square bracket close dx and this minus sign we shall take it at the middle. So it is minus in bracket open 4 we have to multiply 4 minus 4x and minus 6x if you multiply minus 6x plus 6x square into dx. Then finally we have integral 1 to 0 3x we have to multiply this minus 8 inside so minus 8 plus 16x minus 8x square and this minus we shall take it inside of this so minus 4 plus 4x plus 6x minus 6x square bracket close and dx. So we have taken this minus sign throughout the term. Now we are going to simplify the like terms. So integral 1 to 0. Let's take all the constants. So minus 8 minus 4. So which is minus 12. Then x terms. So 3x, 16x, 4x, and 6x. Totally it is 29x. Then combining the square terms. So we have minus 8x square minus 6x square which is minus 14x square into dx. Now we are going to integrate this. So integration of minus 12 is minus 12x and this is 29x square by 2 minus 14x cube by 3. Limit is from 1 to 0. When we substitute the upper limit everything is 0. When we substitute the lower limit 1 we get minus 12 plus 29 by 2 minus 14 by 3. 
finally by taking this minus inside get 12 minus 29 by 2 plus 14 by 3 and now the LCM is 6 12 into 6 72 minus 29 into 3 so it is 87 plus 14 into 2 28 which is equal to 13 by 6 coming to the last boundary the last boundary is from b to o so integral b o so if we take the vertical strip and its limit extends from b to o is from 1 to 0 the maximum is 1 and the minimum is 0 so if we write the limit for b o that is integral b o is integral 1 to 0 and the equation of b o it is written in the diagram x equal to 0 it means when x is 0 dx is also 0 so we are going to substitute that in this expression when x is 0 dx is 0 this first term is fully 0 and in the second term we left with only 4y and dy so it is 4y dy we are going to integrate this 4 y square by 2 and the limit is from 1 to 0 when we substitute the upper limit it is 0 when we substitute the lower limit it is minus 1 by 2 so finally it is minus 2 now we are going to combine all the 3 that is integral over 0 to a that is o a then a b then b o so these answers we already calculated the first part is 3 by 2 and second part is 13 by 6 3 by 2 plus 13 by 6 minus 2 let's take LCM the LCM is 6 so here we have to put into 3 so plus 9 plus 13 minus 12 after simplification we get 10 by 6 which is 5 by 3 now coming to the right hand side of the Green's theorem we have double integral over the region R dou V by dou X so let's write the RHS first let's take the RHS here this double integral over the region R dou V by dou X minus dou u by dou y into dx dy and already we have calculated dou v by dou x and dou u by dou y which is here so dou v by dou x is minus 6y let's take it here minus 6 minus 6y then minus dou u by dou y which is minus 16y so we make this as plus 16y into dx dy so this on simplification this is still over the region r double integral over the region r we get 10y dx dy so now we have to write the limit with respect to x then with respect to y for that we take this diagram and we take a horizontal strip for writing the x limit so the x starts from 0 and here it end at 1 minus y the value of x for this line is 1 minus y so it starts from 0 and end at 1 minus y so the limit for x that is with respect to x is let's take double integral 0 to 1 minus y 10y dx dy now we have to write the limit for y for that we have to again take a vertical strip and its extension starts from 0 and it end at 1 so minimum is 0 maximum is 1 so 0 to 1 let's write it here 0 to 1 now we are going to integrate 
this with respect to x so that 10y is fully a constant so which remain as it is and integration with respect to x of this dx is x and now we have to substitute the limit 0 to 1 minus y and again we have the another integral 0 to 1 which is with respect to y so we have written dy since this is a constant the integral of the constant is constant into x and for this x we have to substitute the limit now finally this is 10y when it substitute the upper limit it is 1 minus y and lower limit is 0 and this integral 0 to 1 dy now after multiplying this we get 10y actually we can take the 10 common so y minus y square 10 is common y minus y square and integral 0 to 1 dy now we are going to integrate this 10 into y square by 2 minus y cube by 3 0 to 1 so 10 into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 and lower limit is 0 so this is 10 into by taking LCM it is 6 so 3 minus 2 so 10 by 6 after simplification we get 5 by 3 already in the left hand side we got 5 by 3 now on the right hand side also we got the 5 by 3 therefore you can say the Green's theorem is verified.